Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're gonna do a Black Friday haul. Now, Black Friday was a couple weeks ago, and because of the Christmas holidays, I got really busy. But now I'm ready to crack open what I got for my Black Friday shopping trip. I had a great time at the Williams-Sonoma Outlet Store, as well as Macy's. So join me for a Black Friday haul. So me and Eric have this tradition where we go out on Black Friday and we have a good old time. And Eric tries to keep me to my budget. And this year I actually did fairly well. I actually went under budget. Um, I got some really great deals. I went to the Williams-Sonoma Outlet Store and they had the entire store was 40% off. Plus I had a coupon for another 20% off. So I got some really fun things. I also went to Macy's and I got another thing that I wanna test out. And you guys are gonna think I'm a little crazy, but I got this because I really wanna test this against the one that I already have. And because I'm, I'm on this survey panel, I got a really, really good deal on this. Cause as I do surveys, I get gift card coupons. So I paid hardly nothing for this. So let's see what I got. Okay, so the very first thing I got at Macy's is this KitchenAid four and a half quart Tilt Head Classic Plus Mixer. Now I know I already have a couple KitchenAids, but I do this survey and some reason years ago, Macy's put me on this survey panel and they email me surveys and every time I reach a certain level, they send me $25 gift cards. Um, this was on a Black Friday special at $1.99, plus I had a regular Macy's coupon for 10% off, and then I had all my survey coupons. So to be honest with you, I paid hardly nothing for this. And when I say hardly nothing, I say I paid like change for this, right? And I got it because I want to test it against um, some of my other mixers, to see, this is their smallest KitchenAid that they make, just to see how this performs and ha handles situations like the bigger ones, right? So this is the four and a half quart Classic Plus. I was limited on the colors. They only made this in white and silver, so I went ahead and got the silver. I also got a pouring shield to go along with this. This is a very basic mixer. It doesn't even have a handle on the bowl. You can get a bowl with a handle. Um, doesn't come with the pouring shield, so I got that included as well. Um, so basically, I call this that I got it for free because I paid hardly anything. So the next place I went was the Williams Sonoma Outlet Store. They have a few of these stores across the country. I'm fortunate that they have one right here in my backyard. And I love that store. Everything in there is marked down. And the Outlet Mall has a kiosk where you can go and get a coupon for 20% off additional uh, one item. So the, the store that day on Black Friday, the entire store was 40% off. So you know I was in my element. And let me pull out my receipt here just so I can remember exactly what I paid for stuff. Um, so the very first thing that I got is I got this baking sheet. It's a jelly roll pan. Um, some of my baking sheets are getting a little rough. When I put them in the oven, you can hear them go doing, right? Um, this is made by USA Pans. They are one of the best manufacturer of um, bakeware, this type of bakeware. Um, I would have loved to have got a couple more pieces of this, but it um, was sort of outside my budget. So I'm going to try to con Eric into taking me back out there soon, right? Um, this is basically a half sheet pan. It's a jelly roll pan. The reason they call it a jelly roll pan is you can make a jelly roll. Basically, it's a you make a flat cake in here and then you 
stuff it with jelly or something like that and you roll it and you make a big roll and that's how they make it really is with one of these pans but you can use this for a cookie pan you can use this for pretty much anything you can roast vegetables on it that's what i do all the time you just put a piece of parchment paper down um, this one actually has a fluted surface, so it's a little different. Um, USA Pans also makes my favorite line, which is the William Sonoma Gold. I love that line, but this is actually the same because it's made by the same company. And the price on this, the outlet price was $19.95. Um, and I paid, with the discounts, $11.97. So with that, I mean, you can't beat that. You can't get that anywhere for that price. Okay, next in my bag of tricks, right? I got a couple um, gadgets. So I got this from OXO. It's basically a meat pounder. And um, we want to try this out to see if we can tenderize some meat with this. You can pound out chickens for a pan um, fried chicken. We can make a... Um, with a little gravy on it. Um, the regular price, I don't, I'm not sure what the regular price is, probably $10 or so. The outlet price was $6.95. And with the discount, I paid $4.17 for it. So that is a deal. As a matter of fact, when we went back to Macy's afterwards, Eric saw this at like $12 and he was making fun saying he just got his for $4. Right, so this is the OXO meat pounder, paid $4.17. Next up, I got two tools from the Williams Sonoma Open Kitchen line. I really like those. I actually have one of these and I wanted another one. Um, it's great, it's um, plastic so it can go, you know, in the anything heat. So it's basically a skimmer, it's like a spider where you can get fried foods out of the oil. I just, I have, I absolutely love this thing. Um, price on these is $10. This one's $12. This is like a little ladle. This too is a William Sonoma Open Kitchen. The regular price being $12. And I paid, um, the skimmer I paid $6 for, and the ladle I paid $7.20 for. So that was a pretty good deal. And the last thing that I got was, da -da -da, right? I got this mandolin. And I have another OXO mandolin, but Eric seems to lose all the pieces to it. So I got myself another one. Um, I think this is pronounced Debayer. I'm not exactly sure. If you know the pronunciation, go ahead and let me know down below. Um, it looks like it is a French brand. Um, this is pretty expensive on Amazon, but I got a really good deal on it. What is the outlet price on this? $109. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's about $140 um, regularly priced. It was actually marked down um, from the 109 and then it was 40% off. So, and then I got the special promotion of 20% off. So I think the regular price being about 140, the outlet price is 109. And with all my discounts, I paid, um, $54 and 97 cents. But then with my coupon, my 20% from the mall, I got another $10.99 off of that. So I paid about $44 for this. So I am really happy about that. I think I got a great deal. Eric's back there smiling, right? Those are the prices that I um, really like getting. Ding, ding. So one thing about this whole Black Friday thing is if you really do your research and you go to the right places, you can get some really nice equipment for your kitchen that would ordinarily be a significant amount of money. But if you really shop and do your homework and know what the prices are, you can get a really good deal. This being $140-ish, and I'm paying $44 for it, this is like getting 100 bucks off of this thing. 
And this is a really nice piece of equipment to add to our kitchen. So, I mean, don't be discouraged when you say, oh, I can't afford all that kind of stuff. If you check your outlet stores, if you use your coupons from the various um, department stores, watch for sales, shop your TJ Maxx, your home goods, stuff like that, you can pick up some really, really nice pieces. One of our best um, Black Friday scores one time is the let's say outlet was having sales on the oval French ovens that are normally $350 and we paid $145 for that. Plus we used the coupon from the mall with 20% off. So we got a really good deal on a really, really, really great piece of cookware. So keep your eyes open and you can find great deals. If you like this video, please subscribe below and give me a comment and a like and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest at amylearnstocook.